In this video, we're going to take a look at writing polynomials from a graph, a table, or given some roots. So steps to writing an equation from a graph, a table of values, or given roots. Step one is to use the zeros, roots, or solutions to write out the factors. Step two, we're going to multiply all the factors together. Step three, if, a given, if given another point, we're going to use it to find the a value by plugging it in and solving. And step four, we're going to rewrite the polynomial, including that a value, and distribute it if we need to. All right, so let's take a look at example one. So we're given roots two and negative five, and we want to write the polynomial equation that has a y-intercept at negative 20. So if you're given roots two and negative five, we need to write those out as factors. So the factor that goes with the root of two is x minus two, and the factor that goes with negative five is x plus five. All right, and so then we have our factors set up, and we know that we have a y-intercept at negative 20. So that's important because we do have another value outside of those roots that we could use to figure out the a value. So if the y-intercept is at negative 20, it's a 0 for x and a negative 20 for the y value. And we'll use that in just a minute. So first, let's multiply our factors together. So I'm going to put them in a little box to get them multiplied together. So x minus 2 times x plus 5. x times x gives us x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x x times 5 is 5x, and 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. And then we can add these two together usually because they're like terms. Not always, but we can in this case because they both have x. So we get 5x plus negative 2x, which would be 3x, and then just bring down the negative 10. So we foiled our factors together. But then we don't want to forget that they told us that it has a y-intercept at negative 20. And so what you've got to do is treat it as that is an x of 0 and a y value of negative 20. And we want to put a out front, put y equals, and we want to plug in that x equals 0 and that y equals negative 20. So I'm going to substitute those into this equation and solve for a. So what that would look like is y equals negative 20. We're going to solve for a and x is 0 each time. So 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 10. So I just took the x equals 0 and plugged it in, so it's 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 10. I'm just writing it over there on the right where I've got a little more room. So we have 0 squared is 0. 3 times 0 would just be 0. So it cleans up really fast once you plug in something like a y-intercept. So we have negative 20, and we have a times negative 10. So then we just have to divide both sides by negative 10, and we get a is equal to 2. Okay, so our last step is just to rewrite the polynomial with that a value included. So I'm just going to bring it back over here to the very beginning and write it out. So I have y equals 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 10. And then let's just distribute. So we get 2x squared plus 6x minus 20 is our final polynomial, including that a value. And that's it. All right, so number two, we're going to write our polynomial from a graph. So let's pick out negative 3 is a real root. We have 2 is a double root. So let's write double root at x equals 2, not 3. And then we have another real root at 5. So we got x equals 5, x equals 2, and x equals negative 3. And x technically equals 2 twice because that's a double root. Your graph turned around at that point. So a turning point on the x-axis acts as a double root. And so what we would need to do is write out x plus 3 is where x minus 3 came from. x equals negative 3 came from. We have x minus 2 squared 
And then we have x minus 5. Because the factors, you always want to change the sign. So if you have x equals negative 3 as your root, we want to write x plus 3 as a factor. We had x equals 2 as a double root, so we want to write x minus 2 as a factor, and there's two of those. All right, so let's just write y equals, put the a in the front, and then let's see if we have another point. Because usually with a graph, you can find another point. Like this one right here is our y-intercept at negative 2. So at 0, negative 2, we have another point that we could use to find our a value. So that's an x and a y that we can take and plug in over here. Okay, so let's plug it in. y equals negative 2. Just leave the a and plug in 0 for x. So we have 0 plus 3, 0 minus 2 squared, and 0 minus 5. So 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and that is squared. And 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So you would just take it, and you could also type those in the calculator, or just take your time and write them out. They're not too difficult. All right, so we have 3. We have negative 2 squared, which is 4, and we have negative 5, so let's just keep simplifying. So 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 times 5 is 60, and it's a negative 5. All right, so then we just have to divide by negative 60. So we get 2 over 60 equals A. Whew. So that just took a little bit of work, but you could certainly use your calculator to help. I just did not. So now we just need to put that a value back into our polynomial. So let's just write 2 over 60 is the a. And I'm just going to leave this one in factored form. If we had to multiply all that out, we could. But we can just leave it in factored form for now. Okay, let's look at one with a table of values. So number three, you're given a table and you're asked to write the function to model the data. So it's important to be able to pick out your zeros from a graph or from a table. So on the graph, those were our x-intercepts. So notice that's where your y equals zero. So where y equals zero in the table, those are gonna be the roots. So we have two real roots that we could pick out of our table. We have x, equals negative 2, and we have x equals 3. So in factored form, we would write x plus 2 and x minus 3. And then let's write y equals an a value, because you don't want to forget to find a, because we certainly will be able to do that in just a minute. But this one's not too bad for us to multiply together. So let's take it and multiply those together. So x plus 2 times x minus 3. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Then we can add these two together and bring everything down. So we get x squared. We have negative 3x plus 2x, which is negative 1x and then minus 6. So let's write that over here. y equals a, and now we have x squared minus x minus 6. All right, so let's grab a point from our table to find the a. So you just want to use any point that's not one of your roots. And I would choose this one right here because you've noticed how 0 helps to simplify things really quickly. So we're going to plug in 0 for your x and negative 6 for your y because that was our y-intercept. So let's plug in negative 6 for the y and 0 for x. So 0 squared minus 0 minus 6. It always helps clean that up quickly. So negative 6 equals a times, and then 0 squared minus 0 would just go away. And we have negative 6. And then we could just divide both sides by negative 6. So we end up with 1 is equal to a. All right, so let's write that down. y equals 1 times x squared minus x minus 6. Well, you don't really have to write that 1 in math, so we could just clean it up and not worry about 
keeping that one out front. And that is it. Okay. So that is our note. Those are our notes on writing a function from given the roots, given a graph, and given a table.